Venice is like the most incredibly diverse, eclectic place in the world. I'm the rabbi of the famous shul on the beach in Venice. How often do you happen to see a shul on the beach? I guess your first reaction is to think about the contrast. Between what we do on the inside and what happens on the outside. Because on the inside, we're trying to build community, trying to build religion. Whereas on the outside, it seems like the people there are trying to break down the barriers and boundaries of society. But the truth is that it's a very external, superficial contrast. Rabbi Fink really likes to talk about what is similar. The energy of Venice, especially on the boardwalk, is one of trying to find a connection. There's a lot of palm readers and tarot card readers and healers and people that are finding a spiritual groove somewhere. I feel like we're very similar because we're looking and seeking the same kinds of things. We're just finding them in different places. And we're doing it in a way that's very traditional. The shul was originally built as a power plant in 1925. Probably in the 40s or 50s, it was converted into a synagogue. The original people that came here were people that lived in East Los Angeles, in Boyle Heights. The Jewish Eastern Europeans who came to Los Angeles settled there. And to kind of cool off and get away from the uh, heat and the oppression of the city, they would come to the beach for weekends and some eventually settled here. Fink himself is a transplant from the East Coast. I was born in Baltimore. I grew up mostly in Muncie, New York. The kind of Judaism that I grew up with was really like I call the Judaism of my grandfathers. It was very committed, very passionate very dedicated to the community, and very orthodox. It was something that we loved. But how do you actually create a religious community in a place where most people just want to have a good time on the beach? Venice and Santa Monica are very transient communities. And because of that, a lot of people don't actually plant deep roots in our community. So the biggest challenge we face is uniting these two different communities, the people that are here for good and that have been here for a long time and that are super committed to the shul and all those other people on the outside who come and they come for a few weeks here or there or they're here for a few years or they just, you know, pop in. Over the last years, Rabbi Fink made himself a name for his unorthodox brand of Judaism. And often he goes out of his way to meet people where they are I don't view myself as just a rabbi of the shul. I view myself as a rabbi who has a shul and has a responsibility to the people that live in the area. So I meet people wherever they want, whether it's in their home, whether it's at a coffee shop. I don't want my relationship to depend on whether they were going to join our community or become more orthodox. I wanted it to be genuinely about them and what they could do as Jews the way they are and to maximize their experience as the people that they are right now.